Today we're going to try to fumble through setting up the RadioMaster MT12 for a two-speed transmission. Let's follow along. So what I've learned on this RadioMaster is that there are a lot of different ways to skin the same cat. I don't know if you're a cat guy or anything, but uh, maybe you have some different ways to do it. But so far, from what I've learned on this, I think what I would like to do is a logical so that we can control one of these switches to be essentially our two-speed. And the reason why I need a two-speed is because my SCX6, I fried the radio. I guess I put too many volts to it. It doesn't like 8.4, I suppose. So now I need another radio and hey, I just got this one and it should be easy enough to set up for a two-speed. Welcome to HTX. So I'm just gonna go through the setup and we're gonna try to get this done and I'll just throw it onto a normal rig and maybe put the steering servo in for now because setting it all up and getting the endpoints dialed is gonna be a whole another thing. So first we need to make sure that we don't have any mixes on there. So we're gonna go to the MDL button there, model. Then we scroll over for our mixes and I would like to use channel three for my two speed. That's gonna be pretty standard for almost all vehicles is you use that. All right, so there's nothing in there. It's already been cleared out. As you can see stock, there's a whole bunch of mixes already on here. I don't think we really need them for anything. So you could in theory do a whole bunch of stuff. Of course you need your channel one and your channel two for steering and throttle. So you don't wanna null those. But all right, so we don't have a mix on channel three. That's good. We at least wanna start fresh. The next thing we're gonna do, we go down to logical switches and I want a fresh one here. We're gonna go to L07. We need to remember that for later. We're gonna hit that button, then long press on our function here. And that should open it up. Okay, we don't long press on that. And what I wanna do is a sticky. You scroll all the way down for sticky. We've got a lot of options in here, but we're just gonna do a sticky. So V1, uh, what do I wanna to select to trigger this? I'm gonna do trigger four, which is this one right here. So we're going to scroll down to trigger four, T4, and we want it to be plus. There we go. And for V2, we're going to do T4 minus, so opposite direction. And we also want to make sure that that inverts the signal. So we're going to long press and go down to invert. Boom, right there. So as you can see, for one, when the T4 hits plus, it'll turn it on and then it'll turn it off when T4 hits minus. And that should do. So we're gonna back out of it here. We hit our return button a couple times. And what I should be able to do is I can bump this up and down. There you go. You see L07 light up when I bump it up and it comes off when I bump it down. All right. So the trim is also affecting some trim. I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn that off that may be for another video because this is a new radio for me. All right, so now we have our logical going. This is working to do something. Now we need to turn that onto a mix. We've got to tell it. We've got to tell channel three that our source is that L07. We had to remember it was our logical number seven. Where is it in here? I don't know. Hey, there it is. Boom. So you can do weight, you can do offset, you can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, that looks like there's a trim setting as well. We're not gonna need that. We could even have a warning when it hits. Yeah, I'll deal with that later. You can change all kinds of stuff, it looks like. All right, so that is on the mix. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go to this screen trim and you can see channel three, boom, trim center. going between that. So the next step, we, we have this mix enabled. The next step is gonna be that we need to make sure that our endpoints are properly adjusted. And if I remember correctly, that is gonna be on our outputs here. So you would select that, we're gonna edit it, and this will give us our minimum and maximum throw. That's where you're gonna set your endpoints. Maybe there's another place in this radio, but that is where you're gonna set your endpoints. And while you're on channel three here, you can actually see we go from 988 millisecond to 2012 millisecond between our up and down. So we are actually getting max throw both directions. Uh, we really won't need a, a center. I mean, there's all kind. Of, there's so much in this. So we're gonna recap right here real quick. 
we do see that it's doing what we want it to do. But how do we get there? Number one, we had to set up the proper logical for the switch that we wanted. And we set that up as a sticky key with the logical on the switch positive and then the inverse on the switch negative. And then we just put that logical over into a mix. And that's really about it. Now it's uh, kind of daunting at first, but I think once you get used to this radio, it's a little easier. And of course you can always watch people's YouTubes and get some ideas. So got to wait for it to connect. There we go. We are connected. Our steering is working. Our throttle, it's working too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my steering servo woo, ha, ha, over to the channel three. So when I hit this, yeah, that's all we need. Now for any individual vehicle, we're going to have to make sure <laughs> we're going to have to make sure that our endpoints are adjusted. So you will have to do that for your individual rig and setup. But I hope you learned a little bit from this and this will get you going at least on setting up a switch for a two speed on this MT12. If you do have any questions, leave them down below and we will do our best to learn with you. As always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Congratulations, your toilet viewing was successful. Hopefully you're done pooping by now, and if you're not, you should probably wrap it up. If there are any other topics you would like us to cover, leave your comments down below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. There are some other suggestions probably floating by my head right now that you can check out. And otherwise, we appreciate your support and your help growing the channel.